In our morning rounds, a new fertility technique has produced the world's first so-called three-parent baby. The procedure took place in Mexico, and the baby was born in April. The controversial procedure reported yesterday uses genetic material from one man and two women. The breakthrough treatment intends to stop mothers from passing down genetic disorders to their children. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. David, good morning. Good morning, Nora. So explain what they mean by a three-parent baby. Well, this was a woman who had a mitochondrial defect. So there's DNA in your chromosomes, and there's some DNA in your mitochondria. So in her case, they took out her chromosomes, so her nucleus, and they put it into a donor's egg where the nucleus had been removed. So that baby has DNA in the mitochondria of the donor, the chromosomes from the mother, and then the chromosomes from the father. So in a sense, three parents. Although if you look at the amount of DNA, mm -hmm. it's almost like it's 2.001 parents rather than three, but it's DNA from three different people. And I think what's exciting about it is it could help a lot of infertile couples, right? Oh, no question about it. I mean, there are thousands of kids born every year with mitochondrial defects, and many of them succumb to this horrible disease. And there are also lots of women who can't give birth because they know they have this particular defect. So it really does open the door of hope for them to have children of their own. But so what warnings should go with it, though, David, uh, in terms of how we monitor this kind of procedure? Well, this procedure was started in the 90s. They were doing it, and then it stopped because some bad things happened and it wasn't regulated. Now, this is really the first case with modern technology. But in this child, there still is a fraction of the, uh, the bad mitochondria from the mother. We don't know the outcome. And so the problem with experiments like this, if you want to call this an experiment, is you don't really know the outcome till many years later. We need to follow this, and we need to follow this child to really understand better the ramifications of what was done. Explain what mitochondria is. So mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. There are 37 genes in mitochondria and 20,000 genes in the human chromosome. But the mitochondria, when they're defective, the organs that require a lot of power, the heart, the brain, the muscles don't work well. And children who have these mitochondrial disorders can pass away. Like these, the, this, these couple, this Jordanian couple in this story, they had two children with a mitochondrial defect, both of whom died at a young age. Mm -hmm. Why was this performed in Mexico? Well, because right now it's not necessarily legal in the United States. In the UK, they did pass a law allowing it to happen, although it hasn't happened. And in Mexico, you can do whatever you want in this regard. And it really, really goes to speak with these new technologies, the world is flat. There needs to be global governance so that we all do it right and we have the right outcome both for the children and the parents. All right. Thank you, Dr. David Agus.